Ew, this place is so gross. Why do you have to leave me in a poor person's orphanage? Well, because you have no parents and you're poor and you need to live in an orphanage. No one wants you. That's not true. I had a dad. I don't remember him, but I had a mom too. She just died because she got struck by lightning twice. I mean, how often does that happen? Apparently twice. You're not very helpful. <laughs> I'm all alone and sad. None of my family wants me. I know I have uncles and aunts or whatever and stupid cousins that are ugly. No, they said you were the most annoying person they've ever met and they know that you're just... Well, you're annoying. That's that's pretty much it. No, they, they're not interested in taking care of you. That's why you're going to live here. But I don't want to live here. No! Oh my gosh, I've done my job. You're at the orphanage. I don't have to stick around for this. Enjoy the rest of your life, kid. What? You're gonna leave me here? No, come back! All right, Donnie, here you go. It's your first day at a brand new school. Wow, look at this place. It's kind of stupid looking and kind of ugly. Ugh. Oh well, whatever. Let's make the best of it. Let's go see if we can make some new friends. Hi, my name is Donald J. Finkelberry. Um, I'm the new student here. Oh wow, look at you, huh? New student. Hmm. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, surprised at what? That they would let someone so ugly be accepted into this school. Man, your face is rough. Uh, okay, disrespectful, first of all. Second of all, that's mean. Why would you say that? I'm just a student. Yeah, with probably the ugliest face I've ever seen in my life. I mean, you should be in the Guinness Book of World Records for this thing. Wow. Stop. That's not nice. Uh, Listen, um, I really can't be doing this right now. I can't be doing what? Letting you go into this school for one, and for two, teaching you. You seem, um, well, pretty stupid. I didn't even do anything. I just came in and said, hi, my name is Donald J. Finkelberry. I mean, like, how do you know I'm stupid? Well, from your face. Stop! Why are you so mean to me? Listen, kid, um, I'm gonna transfer you over to another teacher's class because I literally cannot handle looking at you. And I'm also gonna give you detention. What? Why? What did I do? Detention for you. That's it. End of story. <laughs> this is so dumb. Ugh, that was the worst day of my life. I can't believe it. School is so stupid and awful. All those kids are making fun of me and my beard. I can't help it I have a beard. Ha! Oh, look at that poor loser. Ha oh, man. What are you, bro? Wait, what poor loser are you talking about? I don't see anybody here besides me. And I know you're not talking to me like that. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Look at your beard. It's all gross. You look like an old man and you smell like rotten milk. Stop it. I can't change the way my feet smell, okay? It's just the way they are. Yeah, dude. I'm so glad that you're taking the bus. I never have to go on a bus because, like, I'm so rich. You know what I mean? But, like, actually, you don't know what I mean because you're poor. Listen, kid, okay? I have to take the bus because I'm a poor orphan, all right? I have no friends and no family. No one can drive me around in the sports car like I deserve. Yeah, well, dude, I don't even know if you can afford the bus, so here's some money. Throw it in your stupid stupid ugly face. Enjoy it, loser. Uh, wow. That man was extremely disrespectful. But hey, I got some money out of it. This is kind of cool. Money. Huh. Look at that. First time I've ever had money in my life. I kind of like it. Having money is good. You know what? I'm going to be rich one day. I'm going to be so rich that that kid is going to look poor next to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be a poor loser for long. Oh, man, I hate school. And I hate those kids there and that awful teacher. Everyone's been so mean to me and they've been picking on me. It's not fair. I didn't do anything to deserve this. Um, hold the phone for a second. Uh, 
Where is my stuffed salmon? That salmon is my favorite toy, and it's gone. It doesn't just sprout legs and walk away. Now, where is my salmon? Uh... Hey, you, why don't you stop crying? Can't stand the sound of your voice. It's awful. Yeah, whatever, Bozo. Listen, I had a stuffed salmon that was in here. Uh, where is it? Have you seen it? <laughs> oh, yeah, that stupid stuffed fish. Yeah, I burned it. Uh, you did what? Yeah, the thing was ugly and stupid, just like you. So I took it outside and I burned it. Uh, that was my favorite stuffed toy that my mom gave me, okay? And she's dead now. How does that make you feel? <laughs> oh, it makes me feel pretty good. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> Stop it. Why would you do that to me? I've never done anything to you. I barely know you. I mean, who even are you? Well, I'm the toughest kid at this orphanage. That's who I am. And you better watch what you're saying. I can't believe you would do that. That's my favorite thing ever. You're just a big, dumb, dum-dum. What did you just call me? Oh, that's it. Ow! Oh, man. My head hurts. Where am I? What's going on here? Looks like a hospital of some kind. How did I get in the hospital? Uh, hello? Hi! Uh, can someone come help me? Patient needing help. Hello? Oh, hello! Wow! Yes! Awesome! I'm glad you're awake. Hello, hi! Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, what's going on? Well, it seems as though someone knocked you out pretty good. I mean, you were out cold for a while. Well, that makes sense. My head really hurts. Yeah, well, your face is killing me. <laughs> okay, wow. Uh, whatever. Hey, can I get, like, a snack or something? Like, maybe, like, a jello cup? I'm kind of hungry. Don't you guys have food here? Oh, yeah, we have food here, but that's for patients that aren't discharged yet. And, uh, you've been discharged, so you need to leave here immediately. What? Why? I literally just woke up. Yeah, you see, we discharged you a while ago because uh, we couldn't stand looking at your stupid face. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just literally looking at you makes me laugh. Uh, wow. Okay, that's pretty disrespectful. Please, can I just stay here for a while? Everyone at the orphanage is mean to me. Oh, trust me. You don't want to stay here. We'll be pretty mean to you as well. I mean... Look at you. You kind of deserve it. Oh, stop! Listen, you're just a poor, ugly freak, and uh, we don't want you to be here, so if you don't leave, we're going to call the cops. Does that sound good? No, that doesn't sound good. That sounds awful. Uh, well, you have until the count of five to get out of this bed and get out of this hospital before I call the cops, okay? And one, two... Okay, fine, fine, stop! <laughs> Failed my math test again. Who needs math anyway? It's so stupid. Ha, huh, look who it is. The poor ugly loser. Once again, I'm looking around. I don't see anybody else but me. Why are you talking to me like that? Because I don't like you. Listen, kid, okay? Apparently, a lot of people don't like me, okay? So just get in line. Gosh. Yeah, hold on a second. I got to get a picture of the ugliest person I've ever seen in my life. And that's you, stupid. Why, stop it! I'm not ugly. Hey, man, why don't you leave this guy alone? Uh, oh, hey, uh, what do you care? He, he's just a loser anyway, right? Yeah, this kid may be a loser, all right? But he's my friend, so you better back off or else. Whoa, dude, sorry. I didn't know you guys were friends. I'm out of here. Uh, okay, wow. Um, hi, my name is Donald J. Finkelberry. We've never met before, and we are not friends. So what was that about? Well, I saw you getting picked on, and I couldn't stand to look on your face. Face. It was really kind of creepy. Hey, stop it! My face is my face. I can't change it. Listen, kid, I know you were getting picked on pretty bad, so why don't you and I ditch school? We'll go get some food or something. Yeah, that sounds good. School is so stupid. Okay, let's get out of here. Bye, school. Bye. Wow, this stuff's really good. What is it? Uh, it's coffee. I've never had coffee before. It's kind of giving me a little pep. I like it. Yeah, uh, that's cool, man. Whatever. Hey, I just gotta say thank you for buying me lunch and coffee and hanging out with me. Uh, what? 
I, I didn't buy you lunch. Yeah, whatever. It's not important. Listen, why are you being so nice to me? I mean, literally everybody in my life has been awful to me, except for my mom. My mom was so great, but she died. Oh, wow. Uh, really sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, she got struck by lightning twice. Crazy, huh? That can happen. Yeah, apparently so. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, well, I can kind of relate, man. I don't really have a family. They, uh, kind of kicked me out. Oh, wow. They just kicked you out? the house? Yeah, they said that they just hated me and they never wanted a child. So I got kicked out. I've been living on the streets for a while, crashing on some friends' couches, and yeah, that's pretty much my life. Wow, it sounds like your life is absolutely awful. I mean, not as bad as mine because mine's been terrible, but yours is pretty bad too. I'm glad we have this in common. It's nice. Uh, yeah, I, I guess so. Listen, but I'm not going to be this hated kid for much longer. Oh, really? Why? What do you, what's going on? Listen, I have a plan. I'm going to get rich and popular. That's the only thing that matters. Uh, yeah, I totally agree. I want to get rich and popular, too. I want to be so popular that people just follow me everywhere. And I just turn around and I go, Ugh, I can't believe it. Can you give me my privacy? You know, like, things like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Listen, uh... I got this plan, but I might need someone else to help me. Think you can help me out? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I don't have a whole lot going on, and I don't really want to head back to the orphanage, so... Sure, why not? Let's hang out. <laughs> yeah, great. Awesome. Now follow me. Oh, wow. Look at this place. This is a pretty nice house. Is this where you live? No, this isn't where I live. Okay, so like, what are we doing here? Well, we're gonna break into the house and rob it, obviously. <gasps> oh my gosh, really? Yeah, we're gonna pick the lock, break inside, and steal all the money that's in there. I mean, obviously look at the house. The people that live there must be super rich. Yeah, but like, I was always told stealing was bad. So like, I don't really think that's a good idea. I don't think we should steal the money. Can't we like, earn it somehow? Listen, kid, if you don't want to do this, that's fine. If you just want to be a big fat baby and sit out here and cry like a loser, then go for it, okay? Doesn't matter to me. I want to be rich and popular. This is the only way I can see it happening for me. Okay, uh, great. That's cool. But don't call me a big fat baby again, okay? I hate that. Yeah, there it is. There's that anger. Come on, why don't we break in this house? Yeah, why don't you watch me, okay, loser? I'm going to do it first. ours now. <laughs> okay, bye, stupid house. Bye. Oh my gosh, look at this. I can't believe it worked. We have so much money now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is really great. I told you, Donnie, we were going to be rich. Yeah, you did. And honestly, I didn't believe it because I thought you were kind of stupid. But you totally came through. Look at all of this stuff. It's great. I'm going to go buy a Tesla. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be so rich. Everyone's going to want to be our friends. We're going to be the most popular kids in Brookhaven. Um, I'm already the most popular kid, but for other reasons. Okay, a lot of people hate me. But now I'm going to be rich. <laughs> hey, you two. Stop right there! Oh my gosh, what? What do you want? You two are wanted criminals. I just got word that you guys robbed someplace. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. See, this guy over here, he totally robbed the place. I'm innocent. I did nothing. He was actually going to rob me just now. What? What are you talking about, Donnie? See, he doesn't even know my name. It's so scary. Can you please help me, officer? Yeah, how dare you pick on this poor, innocent, pathetic-looking kid? Hey! You're going to jail, man. What? No! No, Donnie! How could you do this? How could you turn your back on me? It was easy because you're stupid. Okay, listen, I gotta go. Bye! Well, Donnie, you did it again. You're by yourself. No friends, no family, no one. Honestly, it's kind of fine. I really don't mind it. I mean, I'm by myself. I get to do whatever I want. It's kind of cool. Maybe I can't be friends with anyone, you know? Maybe I'm just so cool that no one can be on my level. 
That must be it. For a while, I thought I was just hated. You know, I thought people really hated me. But honestly, I bet they just love me so much that they just can't be around me without acting all crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's gotta be it. I'm just so cool. What is this loser doing? Uh, hi, what do you even think you're doing over here? Oh, hi. I'm just, uh, swinging, hanging out. Uh, do you want to swing with me? Uh, no, idiot. I don't want to swing with you. Only stupid fat babies swing on swings, okay? Now, give me all your money. Uh, what? Yeah, you heard me. Did I just stutter? No, I didn't. Give me all your money. Now. <laughs> okay, fine. Here, this is all I have. <laughs> You're really mean. I'm out of here. Yeah, that's right. Run away, loser. Bye, loser. Bye. <laughs> I love this. This is incredible. Stealing money from people and making them cry? Who knew you could have fun doing that? <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I found my new calling. I think I'm gonna be a criminal. Oh my gosh, this is it. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, this is the best day ever. <laughs> Oh man, I am so hungry. Someone better have my lean cuisine ready or else they're gonna get it. No one cares what you want. You're under arrest, stupid. No one even cares who you are. Like we've literally never seen you before. Who even are you? Do you even know who I am? Yeah, I know that you're under arrest. That's all I know. I don't care about you or anything about your life. I just have orders. Yeah, and I have orders to like post on Instagram and Twitter about this because this is ridiculous, okay? You're not arresting me. I'm Officer Finkelberry. Uh... I don't know. I only follow Shane at SGC underscore Shane on Instagram. I don't follow disgusting, stupid people like you. Now you are going to jail! Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm not going to jail. I don't want to go now! Yeah, well, I don't care. You're going. The people that run this town want you in there. I run this town, loser. Oh, you think so? Not anymore. Oh, it is feeling good to become the mayor of Brookhaven. <laughs> Look how great this is. I have all the power and money I could ask for. It was so easy to be mayor. So easy taking over stupid town. And no one will ever know that I just took it over like that. <laughs> now it's time to get rid of all these stupid idiots in my way. All the YouTubes, all the stupid police officers, everyone. I hate them all. Uh, yeah, hey, what's going on? Uh, uh, mayor, I have some news. Ah, oh, my favorite little minion, Chubbs. Hello, Chubbs. Welcome to my new mayor office. Yeah, uh, it's Chubster, not Chubbs. Anyway, that Finkelberry guy, uh, he's, he's arrested. Oh, yes, the stupid fat policeman. Not as fat as your Chubster, but still pretty chunky. <laughs> I'm glad he is under control now. He was very annoying. Yeah, he was really annoying, but, uh, yeah, he's in jail. I don't know what else to tell you. Anything else you need from me? Yes, I need you to talk to him and tell him he is no longer boss around here. I am. <laughs> oh, big boss man, yes! I'm telling you, it's really important. Shane, I think everybody already bought the Shane Plays plushie. Yeah, but not everybody's used star code Shane Plays and buying Robux. Look, man, I don't know what to tell you. If you want to buy the plushie, go to ShanePlays.shop. And everybody already knows they should be using Shane Plays when they use the star code. Yeah, I guess you're right, man. Well, uh, anyway, dude, can I get some Robux? Because I need to buy some stuff, too. Brody, you're like the richest person I know. Yeah, well, I left my wallet at home, Shane. My gosh, where's your brain, dude? My brain's in my head, okay? I'm just getting all flustered. Oh, uh, anyway. Well, yeah, aren't you late for Officer Rufus's best friend's birthday party over at his grandma's house? Oh, man, I totally forgot about that. What is going on today? <laughs> man go go ah, stop it stop it you're a bad Eunice get out of here
here. No one wants you in my house. <laughs> ah, take that, Eunice. <laughs> no, it's important, okay? I need to talk to you. All right, fine. What do you want, Eunice? I'm here to tell you some sad news. What's the sad news, man? That you're here? No, stupid penguin, all right? The news is that Officer Finkleberry got arrested. Well, good, he deserves it. He's basically a criminal just like you. Yeah, but this time it wasn't for a reason. This new mayor's taking over Brookhaven. I don't think that's the case, man. I'm telling you, dude, okay? This new mayor has it out for all of us. You think Finkleberry's gonna be the last one he arrests? I don't know. It kind of sounds like he's actually doing a good job keeping the criminals like you off the streets. Please, man! Just go and find Finkleberry, okay? Just talk to this guy. You're the only one that can. Fine, Eunice, but you know what? Take this, man. Ah! Jeez, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! so dumb. I can't believe I'm in here. And look at this outfit. It's not even my color. <laughs> I shouldn't be in jail. I should be putting people in jail instead. That's what makes me the happiest. Arresting people for no reason. <laughs> and now I'm in jail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's very funny to hear you cry, fat one. <laughs> uh, okay, disrespectful. Um, who even are you? Oh, you do not recognize me by my beautiful voice? Uh, no, I don't, okay? I only listen to T-Swift, so who even are you? Well, I was once just humble, very rich, wealthy, successful neighbor, but now I am very humble, wealthy, successful, rich mayor of Brookhaven. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's good. Um, listen, I gotta talk to you, bub, okay? I was arrested for no reason. I shouldn't be in here, okay? I actually run the police station, pretty much, and uh, this has just been some kind of mix-up. Oh, no, he's not mix-up. You are here for very good reason, fat one. Um, okay, are you stupid? Did you hear anything I just said to you? Or is it just going through one ear and out the other? No, I am not dumb. I am actually very smart, yes. I am now in charge of town here, and I want to make sure that everyone I don't like is in jail. All the people that bother me and ruin my plans! Okay, yeah, that's great, but listen, uh, I'm not gonna be in here for very long, so your plan's kind of pointless. <laughs> we will see, fat one, we will see. Stop calling me fat! This is a weird spot for a mayor's office, but I don't even think this dude's probably that bad. I mean, Eunice is really, really annoying all the time, so him and Finkleberry deserve probably whatever's coming to him. Plus, I didn't even hear about an election or anything, so maybe it's not even a new mayor. Maybe they're just doing their jobs. Whoa, dude, what the heck are you doing here? Welcome, stupid YouTubes! You like my new office? Yes, it's nice. I think I might redecorate a little bit, but it will do for now. Wait, what are you talking about, dude? You're the mayor? <laughs> of course, stupid YouTube. Why else would I be here when I could be at my beautiful modern mansion, sitting by pool and in quiet conversation with myself? <laughs> Dude, this isn't good. You can't just arrest people for no reason. And I don't even like Finkleberry. I had great reason to arrest fat policeman. I do not like him at all. And I know you don't either. Yeah, I don't like him and I don't like you, okay? Enough is enough. We need the old mayor back. We don't need you here. Oh, okay. Well, you can join him then. Show me! Get in here! I told you, it's Chubster. Well, I'm not going anywhere. See you guys. Hey, get back here! Come on, big man, pick a piss! All right, if Shane isn't gonna do this, then I'm gonna have to be the one to break out Finkleberry, okay? I mean, it's not that hard. It's gonna be so easy. I'm like the smartest criminal in the world. Everyone's gonna say, Eunice, the policeman, wow! And I'm gonna say, that's right, I'm Eunice, I work here. But anyway, I guess I just go in and make sure Finkleberry can get out of here. All right, time to go inside. Uh, 
excuse me, what are you doing here? What are you doing here, okay? I just got sent here from the new boss, and he told me to tell you to get out! You, uh, gotta be joking me, right? You're Eunice. Yeah, I'm you. No, I ain't Eunice. Who are you? I'm Bob. Uh, I know Bob. He's a great guy, okay? You are not Bob. You're Eunice. Everyone knows who you are. Look, I'm the boss, and I need to see Finkleberry, okay? Ow! Oh, stop it! Gilbert, come on. Come back here. I'm sorry, y'all. Officer Rufus, who are you talking to, man? Oh, Shane, that's just my new squirm friend, Dilberts, okay? He just caught some attitude, and honestly, he needs a minute to cool off, so we just gonna let him be, okay? Well, look, we don't have time for anything, okay? I'm being chased right now. I'm in a lot of trouble, Officer Rufus. That's the story of our lives, Shane. Okay, what you talking about? I'm confused, y'all. Officer Rufus, we're safe now, all right? Dude, the evil neighbor, he is now the mayor of this city. Say what now, Shane? You know I don't remember times and space and things and such, okay? You got to explain this to me a little bit better. Well, I can explain it to you on the way to the next place, dude. We cannot stay here. They're going to try to find us. Come on, Officer Rufus. Let's go. Okay, Shanes. You sound super serious, so I know this ain't going to be good, all right? We got to figure this out. All right, Officer Rufus on the case, y'all. Well, you fat idiot, looks like you got us into quite a mess this time, didn't you? Don't call me fat, okay? I've been on a diet. At least I don't look like a stupid whale like you. Hey, that's not nice, okay? I've been trying to eat all the lean cuisines I can to keep my figure. And that stupid evil mayor, whatever he is, was calling me fat, Uni. He called me fat. I'm sorry, Finkleberry, but maybe 700 lean cuisines a day isn't good. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, we gotta find a way out of here, man. Well, idiot, if you didn't get caught, we'd be fine. You would have broken me out of jail. We probably would have robbed, like, three houses and had some money and gone and gotten some food or something. This is so stupid. Why do you always let this happen to you? It wasn't me, all right, man. I walked in, and that god was just so stupid. That's all. Hey, guys, what's up? Whoa, Creepy Rob! Uh, loser, how long has it been since I sent you a text? Like, two days. Where have you been? Hey, guys, like, no time. Let's run. Come on, let's go. Yeah, probably right. Let's go, Finkleberry! Yeah, let's forget this place. It's stupid in here. Bye! My gosh, I'm so glad to be here now! Yeah, Creepy Rob, you actually did us a solid for once. Thanks a lot. You know, jail is just so stupid. Yeah, no problem. It was actually, like, really, really easy. I mean, like, anybody could have broken you guys out of here. It wasn't that easy, Creepy Rob! Don't make me punch you! Uni, Uni, take it back, okay? Don't become unhinged. We gotta keep our heads level, okay? We gotta figure stuff out, Uni. Yeah, we're in a lot of trouble with this new mayor, I'm telling you, man! Yeah, this guy's the worst. He made me try to work with him before. Do you guys remember? Yeah, we remember, okay? We've all talked to him, but he's evil, okay? We're not dealing with this guy. Yeah, you think you're going to turn your back on Officer Finkleberry and arrest him? No way. Not on my watch. We got to do something about this stupid mayor. Get him out of town. I hate his face. Okay, Shanes, we here in this awful offums now, y'all. So where is this big stupid ma'ams? I don't know, but while he's not here, we have to find some clues. We have to figure out how he became mayor. There was no election, no anything. Just the old mayor's gone and now he's here? I know, that's so wild, right? I mean, I'm some police awesomes and I didn't even know there was an elections going on, y'all, okay? Although I am not very in touch with pop cultures. Yeah, I know, Officer Rufus. That's because you spend all your time hanging out with squirrels and eating burritos. And that's the story of my lives, Shane. And then you get me in all these wild situations. Okay, so let's focus here. We gotta find out what's gonna happen with this old mayor and stuff. I wonder if there'd be any clues around here. I don't know, Officer Rufus. I've searched everywhere. I don't even know where this guy is. Hopefully he just doesn't come back. That'd be awesome. Oh, he's back. <laughs> Look at what we have here. Ah, what a beautiful day. It makes me sick. Now let's see. I'm just about two hours late for work. That's about usual. 
Hey, idiots, where are my lean cuisines? I told you to put my lean cuisines in the mic when I was on the way. Gosh. Hey, uh, excuse me, are you Officer Finkelberry? Uh, yeah, that's my name. Don't wear it out, dum-dum. Well, you're about two hours late for your shift. Uh, yeah, okay, whatever. Am I supposed to care? Well, yes, you should care. You're a police officer. Yeah, I am. And who are you? I've never seen you before. Oh, are you the new intern? Okay, great. Yeah, you're supposed to put my lean cuisines in the microwave when I say I'm coming to work. So by the time I get here, they're supposed to be done, okay? Yeah, no, no. See, I'm the new police chief. I'm not an intern. The name's Officer Pickle. <laughs> Officer Pickle? Oh my gosh, that's so stupid. Your name is awful. Where'd you even come from? I just transferred here from Bloxburg, so now I'm the new police chief. Oh, Bloxburg, so sweet. That town is so dumb. <laughs> Doesn't take much to be the police chief there. You're obviously pretty stupid. What did you say to me? Officer Finkelberry, you're talking a lot of smack here. Yeah, it's kind of what I do, bub, okay? You're new here, so you don't know a whole lot, so let me break it down for you, okay? I'm Officer Finkelberry, I run this place, and everyone does what I say. It's pretty simple. Follow the rules and you'll be just fine. Well, I'm the new police chief, so I make the rules around here, okay? Now get to work. <laughs> me work? No, no, see, I don't do that. Excuse me, what did you say? Uh, I don't do that, okay? I kind of do my own thing. Well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna march your sorry little behind out of this police station. You're fired, Finkelberry. <laughs> Oh, you're funny. You got a good sense of humor. I kind of like that. Yeah, well, that's good. Now, march your sorry little behind out of here. I never want to see you again. You are fired. Yeah, whatever, loser. This job's stupid anyways. Bye. Uni, Uni, you won't believe what happened. Oh, Finkleberry, are you here to give me some money? Because you ordered pizza last night and you didn't give me money. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot about that. Uh, I'll get you back later because, Uni, something awful happened. I got fired. Oh, my goodness, you got fired? You must be a terrible worker. Uni, you work with me all the time, okay? You know I'm the best worker. It's this jerk, chief, officer, whatever, pickle face. He's so stupid, I hate him. But now I need a job. You gotta hire me, Uni. I need something to do. Now you know that I'm the best manager that's ever existed, okay? And I gotta tell you, Finkleberry, I can't hire you. Uh, what? What do you mean you can't hire me? I'm your best friend. I'm your only friend, Uni. Well, look at Finkleberry. I don't like to work with my friends, okay? I got my work life, and then I got my friends, and I take being the manager very seriously. Yuri, we rob people constantly, and we kidnap them and hold them for ransom. What are you talking about? We work together all the time. Sorry, Finkleberry. Rules is rules, man. You know what, whatever you fat idiot, I can't believe you do this to me. On the worst day of my life, and I lost my job, and now my best friend won't help me. You're the worst. <laughs> hey, y'all. Ooh, you must be new here, huh? My name is Asa from Rufus, y'all. Oh, wow, you are the Officer Rufus. Oh, I've heard a lot about you. It's really nice to meet you, sir. Oh, you as two comms. Yes, I am very populums, and I'm also a very big social mediums influencums, y'all. Uh, yes, I know. I follow you on Instagram along with Shane and everyone else. Oh, that's so nice. It's so nice to meet someone that's a new frams. Ha, what is your names? Oh, uh, I'm the new police chief here. I'm, a uh, Police Chief Pickle. Pickles? Okay, that's a wild name, y'all, but I kind of like it. It's kind of goofy, y'all. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Like I said, it's an honor to meet you, sir. Oh, stop it now. You're gonna make Asa from Rufus blush, y'all. So what's going on here at work today, y'all? What's the news? What's happened to some Brookhavens? Well, uh, the streets have been pretty quiet lately, but the biggest news is today, we fired Officer Finkleberry once and for all. Say what now? We, uh, fired Officer Finkleberry. He came in, like, two hours late for his shift, and, you know, that's unacceptable, so I had to let him go. Oh my goodness, you accidentally fired Finkleberry? I mean, I tried to do that like 10 times before, and he just kept on coming back, so I was just like, all right, whatever. But you accidentally fired him. Good job, y'all. That's nice. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm really, really, uh, proud of myself, not gonna lie. It's good to get the riffraff out of this police station. Oh, yes. No one likes the riffums or raffums, y'all. We don't need riffraff in the police force. 
We need good, honest people like you and me, Officer Rufus. We're gonna clean up this town one way or another, and I'm gonna make sure that Finkleberry's life is absolutely garbage. We're gonna ruin him. Okay, that's a little extremes, y'all, but that's nice. Okay, I got to go, because I'm gonna have lunch with Shimes. Um, I got to go now, okay? Nice to meet you, bye. Oh yes, bye, Officer Rufus. Uh, finally home at Casa de Finkleberry. It looks so beautiful. It's the only place I have now where I can just be myself and relax. This whole day has been awful. Uh, excuse me, who are you and what are you doing in my house? Hey, how's it going? My name's Frederick. I'm from the bank and this is no longer your house, stupid. Uh, what did you just say? This is my property, okay? I own this beautiful place. And it's mine. You can't just take it from me. Yeah, you actually don't own this place. You owe a lot of money, and when you got fired from your job today, they alerted us, and we got to take the home from you. No, you can't take my house! Uh... Well, here's the thing. I actually can, and all the belongings inside. For some reason, you have a lot of Taylor Swift albums, and I just don't understand it. What is this, 2016? What did you just say? T-Swift is the best, okay? And I totally have all of her albums. And I have one of them signed, and even one that's an underground, unreleased one. So expensive. <laughs> you can't take it! I can, and I'm gonna throw it directly into the garbage. What? No! Uh, you can't do that! Oh, I can, and I will. Also, get out of this house right now, or I'll have you arrested. And have a nice day. Oh my gosh, you're the worst. Even worse than me. I hate your face! You're the meanest jerk around! <laughs> Well, Donald, you did it again. You got yourself a dumb interview. Ugh. I don't even know why I have to do this. Don't they even know who I am? I'm Officer Fin- Oh. Well, I'm not an officer anymore. So I'm just Donald J. Finkelberry. Superstar to the world. <laughs> Alright, let's get this dumb interview over with. Hey, idiot. Yeah, I'm here for the interview. Uh, what? We- we don't have any interviews today. I'm looking at the schedule, yeah, I don't see any interviews. And honestly, we're not even hiring. Yeah, listen, I don't care, okay? You're gonna give me a job because I'm Officer Finkelberry and that's just what I want and I always get what I want. So give me the job. Oh, okay, uh, have you ever had experience working as a security officer before? Oh my God, what a dumb question. Yeah, duh, of course, okay? I was a police officer for years, okay? And that's a real police officer, not this stupid security guard stuff. Well, actually, the security guards here at the airport have to deal with a lot. You gotta make sure everybody's safe. Yeah, okay, I'm not really about that lifestyle, okay? I do what I want. That's the whole point, okay? Oh, uh, okay, uh, so that's a no. So let's move on to the next question. Um, what would you say your biggest strengths and weaknesses are? Oh, you know, that's a really good question. Um, my biggest strength is that I'm super cool and popular and very famous and everyone loves me. And my biggest weakness? I don't really have one. I'm kind of awesome. I have no weaknesses. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, okay, listen, I'm going to stop you right there. All right? I'm already sick of this interview. I've had it up to here. I'm a very, very busy man, okay? Are you going to give me the job or what? Uh, well... Based on everything I've seen so far, no, we're, we're not giving you the job. What? That's so stupid. This job belongs to me, okay? This is my job now. I want it, and you're going to give me the job. Sir, I, I don't do well with people raising their voices at me and uh, crying, so you're going to have to leave. Um, excuse me? I'm going to have to leave? Why don't you leave, Jum Jum? Are you refusing to leave the premises of the airport, sir? Uh, yeah. What are you gonna do about it, dum dum? You gonna just sit there and cry, boomer, like a big baby? Wah, wah, wah. Uh, no, I'm gonna do this. Ow! Ow! I can't believe it. I have to settle for this job? This is so stupid. And this uniform is awful. It's not my color at all, and I look so stupid. Well, this isn't a fashion show, this is an ice cream shop. And it's a very simple job if you'd like to learn how to do it. Okay, I have a feeling you're just gonna say it even though I don't want to listen to anything you say. So, whatever, Lamo, give me the spiel. 
Go, okay, that's unnecessary, considering I am your manager, and I need you to show me some respect, Finkleberry. Respect is for the birds, dum-dum. Okay, just tell me what to do. You're calling me, Dub. You're the one who can't figure out how to scoop ice cream and put it in a bowl. It just seems really hard, and honestly, I just don't want to do it. Like, I don't want to do it at all. Well, if you want to quit, you can. You're just not going to make any money, so it's up to you, man. Yeah, listen, okay, this is all great and stuff, but, like, I'm going to do my own thing. So you can just, like, go into the break room or something and have a snack, okay? I'm done listening to you. Okay, bye. Bye, little man. Uh, whatever. I'm tired of you anyway. See ya. Ah, thank goodness that idiot's gone. Man, this place is so stupid. I hate this job. And Uni won't even respond to my texts about how much I hate it. It's so stupid. Hey, you, put your hands up. All right. What? No, you don't want to do that, okay? My armpits smell really bad. What? Oh, uh, what? Uh, whatever. Just give me all the money in the register, dum-dum. Hey, wait. This is a stick-up, right? Oh, my gosh. I've never been involved in one of these. At least I'm not on this side. Hey, are you in some kind of cool criminal gang? Uh, y yeah. Yeah, I guess. How'd you know that? Uh, because I'm just the best criminal there is. <laughs> you should totally let me join your gang. All right, fine. Just get get the money out of the register and let's go, all right? Let's go. Okay, yeah, whatever. This job is stupid. I'm out of here. Okay, bye. What are we doing waiting outside? This is so stupid. What are we doing? Listen, listen. Stop talking, all right? The plan is we're going to go up there, blow up the vault, and take all the money out. <laughs> What? What's so funny? Oh, just your plan. It's stupid. What? What are you talking about? Uh, read my lips. Your plan is stupid. <laughs> Listen, I'm a huge criminal, okay? I've robbed about like a thousand banks in my lifetime. I could do it in my sleep. Your plan is like something a noob would do. It's pathetic. Yeah, 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 whatever. Just stay out of my way. Uh, all right, fine. Are we going to do this or what? All right, yeah, let's go. Downstairs and make sure no one's coming, okay? What? No, no, <laughs> no. Donald J. Finkelberry is not a lookout. I'm a criminal mastermind. You're gonna be the lookout, got it? Ugh, I don't wanna. But fine, whatever. <laughs> I can't believe this. Yeah, I'm a criminal again, which is great. I mean, I love it. It's great, but now I'm like a minion. This is so dumb. I don't want to do this anymore. Uh-oh. Cops are here. Uh, time for me to get out of here. Bye, losers. <laughs> uh, yeah, hi, idiots. What's going on here? What? What are you doing here? Figured you would have gotten caught. Uh, you're an idiot, okay? With a capital I. I'm never gonna get caught. I'm Finkleberry. How did you even find us? Idiot. Yet again. I built this criminal base, so obviously I know exactly where it is and where to find you. Oh man, do you have any idea who this is? No, who is this guy? This is Finkleberry. He's the baddest guy on the streets. Yeah, that's right, and don't you forget it, okay? So what happened? Why did you ditch me? You totally left me all alone back there. Uh, honestly, it's just because you're super annoying and you're fat and slow, so I was hoping you'd get caught. What? I'm so confused. I thought I was part of your whole criminal gang. I thought we were doing a whole thing, you know? Like, I'm the mastermind, you guys are the minions, and you do what I say. We rob places, people, everything. We get all the money. I thought that was the whole gig. <laughs> Listen, Finkleberry. It's really nice to meet you and everything, but there's no way we'd let you join our gang. You're just too unhinged. Yeah, that's right, idiot. I am unhinged, and you're making me mad. You're going to kick me out of your gang? Yeah, I think that's actually exactly what we're going to do. Yeah, whatever. I don't even care anyways. And just so you know, I totally called the cops on you guys and told them that, that you were here. They're probably going to be here in about, like, two minutes. So, uh, yeah, do with that as you will. What? You, you called the cops on us? 
Uh, yeah, you cross Finkleberry and you're gonna get burned. Okay, bye, losers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. I can't believe I'm crying again. <laughs> My life used to be so good. Popular, rich, police officer, and a part-time criminal. I had the whole life planned out and everything was great and everyone loved me. And now look at this. <laughs> All because of that dumb Chief Pickle idiot or whatever his name is. He ruined my life. I just want my old job back. And I want my house and my T-Swift collection and all my friends. Like Uni and what's that other guy? Creepy Bob or something and Shady, I don't know. Uh, hi, are you okay? It seems like you're crying a lot over here. I couldn't help but overhearing. Uh, yeah, I'm fine, loser. Leave me alone. Well, why are you crying? You must be upset if you're crying so much. It's none of your business, okay? Now give me all your money. Uh, what? I said, give me your lunch money, loser. Uh, uh, fine, here. You can take this if it will make you happier. Is this seriously all you've got? Gosh, you're poor. Well, that's not really fair. I work really hard, and this is just all the money I have on me right now. Yeah, 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 okay. Tell your sob story to someone who actually cares about it. Just get out of my face. Wow, you really are mean. Yeah, I am mean. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't need to get a job, or a house, or friends. I'm Finkleberry. I'm an evil mastermind and a criminal. I can do all this stuff on my own. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Finkleberry's back, baby. Woo! Uni? Uni, where are you, you dumb fat idiot? Whoa, 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 Finkleberry, watch who you're talking to. Do you know where you are right now? You're in my pizza place, man. Yeah, that you only manage, dum-dum. You don't own it. Whatever, that's not the point. Uni, I'm here to talk to you. I kind of want to apologize about everything that happened. Shut up, Finkleberry! You gonna apologize to me like some kind of loser? I know that you can do better things than work in the pizza shop, man, okay? Don't apologize to me! See, Uni, even though you're dumb and mean and fat, I still love you. You're my best friend. Aw, this is so sweet. Yeah, whatever. At least I don't smell like old cheese, man! Uni, it's a long story, okay? I had my house taken from me. I haven't showered in days. It's disgusting. I know, okay? I know, Uni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's up anyway, man? I got a lot of people to scream at and a lot of money to steal from people delivering my pizzas. Well, Uni, I have a new job, okay? I decided that I'm just going to be a criminal on my own now. Isn't that fun? I'm just going to do evil stuff like I always wanted. <laughs> but the first evil task we have... We gotta get back at that stupid Chief Pickle idiot, okay? We need to come up with a good plan. Oh, we'll come up with a plan so good that it'll be the best! Uh, okay, yeah, great. <laughs> Being evil is so good. Oh my gosh, no! Kevin and Callie broke up again! <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Kevin, you're so stupid. Obviously, she doesn't like you. Man, soap operas are the best. They're so funny. I love when they cry. Excuse me, is there someone named Fartberry here? Uh, no, there isn't. Okay, there's someone named Donald J. Finkleberry here. Can I help you? What are you doing in my house? Oh, Finkleberry, that's right. Sorry, I misspelled it. Such a stupid name. Anyway, I came to tell you that, uh, your last living aunt died. Aunt Myrtle? Oh my gosh, oh, that's so sad. Uh, I wish I could cry and be sad right now, but, uh, listen, I'm really busy and I got a lean cuisine in the mic, so, uh, what, what do you want? Well, turns out your aunt's really rich and she left you a bunch of money. Uh, what? What are you talking about? My family doesn't talk to me anymore. We literally had to go through every last human being that your aunt knew and you were the last one, so I guess fortunately for you, you get the money. You're gonna be a billionaire now. <gasps> what? No way! Oh my gosh, I'm rich! Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this day to happen! <laughs> 
Oh gosh, yeah, whatever, man. You're, yeah, sure, you're rich, but please stop yelling and crying, whatever this is. It's very annoying. I'm sorry, I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy. I'm a billionaire. Now it's time to treat myself. <laughs> Oh man, I love this new car. This thing is so fast. Uh, hi, idiot. Hi. Also, Finkerberry, what is you doing here in the police stations? You don't work here no more. Yeah, okay, you think I don't work here anymore, but I mean, obviously I did, but now I don't. What, say what now? You've been trying to confuse me, y'all. Yeah, listen, okay, I always wanted to tell you this. I hate you, and you're stupid, and I quit. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm more confused than Usermans now, y'all. Uh, you are so dumb. Okay, let me explain it to you. I'm rich now, okay? I'm rich, and I don't need to work. This is stupid. This is beneath me. Uh, think about it. You legitimately don't work here no more. You got fired like a long time ago. Yeah, that's great. Listen, I'm not listening to anything you said, okay? I quit. I'm done, and I'm over it. <laughs> okay, bye, stupid. Bye. That Finkenberry be wild, y'all. Hey, Shady Steve. Welcome to Brookhaven, man. Isn't it awesome? Yeah, yeah. This whole town smells like happiness and cheer and joy. It's disgusting. But at least your place is pretty cool. Keeping that creepy vibe going, huh, Rob? I don't even think it's creepy. I don't know what you're talking about. Why does everyone call me that? Whatever. Did you hear about Finkelberry? He's rich now. Rob, you know I try my best to ignore what that stupid idiot does. I hate Finkleberry. What do you mean he's rich? He's always been broke. Broker than us. Turns out he's a billionaire right now. Someone should rob him. He's so stupid, it'd probably be really easy. Rob, you come up with the best scheme sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm down to cause some mayhem. Let's steal some of that idiot's money. I can't believe it. I'm such an entrepreneur. <laughs> I just bought this whole ice cream shop and now it's all mine. And all the ice cream and it's mine too. This is the best. I'm living my best life. Hashtag best life. Dude, what are you doing here? Oh my gosh, I didn't know you were still in town. Oh, hi, idiot. Hi. Oh my gosh, it's been a while. You haven't been bothering me in so long. Yeah, that's because you're boring, Finkleberry. How did you get enough money to buy an ice cream? You're super poor. Um, I've been saving a lot. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> hey, do you want to get some ice cream? I'll totally buy it for you. Wow, you're actually being nice to me? You know, maybe you're not that bad, Finkleberry. Sure, I'll take some ice cream. Okay, hold on. I just got to get a picture of your face right now in my mind. That smile is so dumb. Okay, great. Ready? Let me tell you something, all right? I just bought this whole ice cream shop. Can you believe it? <laughs> Everything in here is mine, including the ice cream. You should have bought some earlier, because now you're not even allowed in here. Whatever, dude. This is a strange conversation. I'm tired of having it. I'm just going to leave. You star code shame plays and get out of my face, Finkleberry. Okay, yeah, get out of my ice cream shop, okay, idiot? I own this place now. This is mine. I don't want to see you ever again. Okay, get out of here. Bye. Rob, look at this place. I can't believe this is Finkleberry's new house. Yeah, I know. That guy's old house was so disgusting. I can't wait till he runs this one down too and it's all gross and stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna look exactly like your house. <laughs> Shut up, Shady Steve. You're so annoying, man. Can we just do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go break inside and steal all his money. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, look at this. We're gonna be rich. I can't believe it. Uh, ah! hey, what do you bozos think you're doing? Yeah, that's what you get, dum dums. No one's gonna steal from me, especially not a couple gremlins like you. <laughs> Stupid idiots. Man, I can't believe it. Finkleberry must have been getting smarter in his old age. Yeah, that man is old as dirt. I can't believe he tased us. I'm still shaking from that jolt. Yeah, what a loser. I can't believe it. He used to be our friend, too. Oh, were we his friend and we just decided to rob him? I can't remember. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think we should just give up. Maybe this Finkleberry guy is finally on top of his game or something. 
No, we can't give up, dude. We gotta do something else. How can Finkleberry be rich and we're sitting here poor? No, it can never happen that way. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Quitting for babies. We gotta come up with an idea to get all that money. Hmm, I wonder what we could do. Oh, I have an idea. We should offer him something that he loves, but never give it to him. Well, he loves Taylor Swift. Maybe we can tell him that she's our best friend and she wants to hang out with him. Rob, that plan is dumb as dirt, but it just might work. Finkleberry's dumb too. <laughs> Let's figure something out. We'll steal that money one way or another. Oh my gosh, look at all this money. <laughs> I'm so rich now, I'm a billionaire. This is the best. Now I know why rich people are just happy all the time. <laughs> oh my gosh, and I'm getting a phone call. It's all finally happening for me now. I'm rich and now I'm popular. <laughs> All right, listen, whoever's calling, I'm very, very busy, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on. What do you want? Hey, uh, it's me. Um, that doesn't matter who it is. Look, I got this exclusive Taylor Swift CD album for you. It hasn't even been released yet. <gasps> Oh my gosh. I've heard rumors that this album existed and only three people have them. How did you get your hands on this? Oh my gosh, how much do you want for it? Ah, uh, maybe a billion dollars. Well, that's oddly specific, and that's a lot of money. But this is an unreleased T-Swift album. Hmm. Okay, yeah, fine, I want it. I'll give you the money. Where am I going to meet you? When's this going down? Parking lot next to the grocery store at 3 p.m. See ya. Hey, uh, are you that Fartberry guy? Uh, yeah. Are you the guy with the exclusive T-Swift album? <laughs> yeah, it might be. You got the money? Yeah, I've got the money, bozo. I'm a billionaire. I, do you have the CD or what? Yeah, I'm a CD guy, so I got one. Also, what year is it? You want a CD? My goodness, I could have just given you the download. Yeah, but my iPhone 4 doesn't have Apple Music. Whatever. Don't even talk to me about technology right now. T-Swift album, now. No, money first. I don't trust you. I know who you are. See, I'm so popular. <laughs> All right, fine. Yeah, here. Take the money. Where's the album? <laughs> it's right here, stupid. Enjoy. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to listen to CDs in 2021, you old man. A banana? Seriously? I can't believe it. Uh, I just spent a billion dollars on a banana? Oh my gosh, that was all my money. I gotta get someone to help me. Oh, I know. I'm gonna go ask the most annoying person in Brookhaven for help. <laughs> Rob, look at all this money. We're billionaires. Yeah, I can't believe it, dude. A billion dollars. I'm gonna go buy myself a Ferrari, and then a Lamborghini, and then a Maserati, and then I'm gonna race them all at the same time. I'm gonna buy at least 25 new leather vests and get them personally engraved on the back, and it's gonna say, Shady Steve. <laughs> it's gonna be worth a fortune. <laughs> Sounds stupid, man. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But you know what? You do whatever you wanna do. We're billionaires now. Hey, y'all, Asa for Rufus be here now, y'all. I'm here to stop you and put you under my wrist, y'all. Uh, what? What's going on here? How'd you even find us? Ah, why? Oh my gosh, you taste Rob. Yeah, I did that by the axonyms, y'all. I did not mean to do that at all. That was a little oopsie daisy. Well, there's no way you're gonna catch me, you stupid idiot. Oh, ow, ow. Okay, well, that one was on purpose. All's in a day work now. I'll stop these criminals and save the day yet again. And woo, does this make me hungry. I got to go get some ice cream. Oh, maybe they have a burrito flavored ice cream. I gotta find out. Guacanole ice cream, here I come, y'all. <sighs> I cannot believe I'm doing this. My life was great about an hour and a half ago, and now it's ruined. Uh, gonna ask this dum dum for help. All right, let's see what this idiot's up to. Uh, hey, idiot, I gotta talk to you real quick. Oh my gosh, what do you want, Farberry? You're so obnoxious, man. Yeah, I am. It's part of my charm. <laughs> but listen, I gotta come to you and ask you, I, I need your help. What do you want help with, man? 
Uh, well, someone called me and told me that there was an exclusive T-Swift album, and they were gonna sell it to me for a billion dollars, which I totally had. But then when I gave him the money, he just gave me a banana and ran away! Yeah, well that's what you get, man. You know how many times you've robbed people over the years? You've probably stolen over a billion dollars. You're just terrible with your money and you waste it on stupid stuff. Hey! That's probably true, but that's not nice to say. So are you gonna help me or what? Please, come on, help me. Give me some money, I'm poor. No, I think this is a learning experience for you, Finkleberry. Maybe at some point in your life you should try being nice to other people and bad stuff wouldn't happen to you like this. Maybe you could have given some of that money away and tried instead of being selfish and trying to spend it on your own self. Uh, first off, learning? Ew. Second off, giving money to other people? What's the point? The money's supposed to be for me! This is so dumb, you don't get me at all. I'm out of here, whatever, bye loser.